uh what is up guys and welcome back to another video and today what i'm gonna do guys is show you guys how to do this uh, i'm not sure what i'm gonna title this video or tutorial but it's like the rgb zoom transition or chroma or zoom transition i don't know how what i'm gonna title this video but it's basically a zoom transition with the rgb effect on it so yeah, that's really good, and it looks really good, guys, as you saw from the beginning there. It's a really cool transition that you can use on your videos, and maybe edits too, if you want to. Super easy to do, it doesn't take you long at all, which I actually found this one on my own. I just was playing with the video effects things on Sony Vegas, and I just found it on my own. But uh, yeah, uh, if you're wondering what, uh, what anime I use for the, like, uh, the... Um, the example it's called darling and the franks and it's the opening for it so and uh oh boy guys this anime is really good like really good story really good plot and everything i definitely recommend it to you guys like it's really good for, for like anybody who's really starting anime or like or like has been watching it for a long time it's really good but anyways let's just get started with the tutorial so the first thing you want to do is get your like the two clips you're going to do it on so yeah, go to the first one, go to video effects, and find S Warp Chroma. There it is, S Warp Chroma. Then you're gonna drag it onto your first clip. So uh, now just copy what I do, which is so make the steps all the way up. Make the from Z distance one. Make the wrap reflect. So for both of them actually, the wrap X and wrap Y. And that's it. You can save this as a preset if you want. I don't really since it's not that many steps to do. So uh, you're going to go to from Z distance and press the enemy button. You're going to drag this, the first cube from right here, all the way to the end. And uh, you're going to want to zoom in a little bit for this. You're going to go back 10 frames since I'm going to make this 10 frames long, this transition. Then once you like go back 10 frames back, uh, you're going to press this plus sign here to add a keyframe. Another one at least. Now you're gonna go back to the last one over here. And you're gonna ch change the from Z distance to 0.1. And you're gonna change the last frame into a smooth fade. And the first one is gonna be a slow fade. So there you go. And that's for the then that's pretty much it for the first clip. So now we're gonna add the same thing basically on to the next clip so let me just do that but we're going to change a little bit of the things so yeah so let me do this again like that make that to one reflect reflect now we're going to animate the z distance again and we're going to make the first frame the first frame is going to be 1.9, basically the opposite of 0 0.1. And then we're going to go 10 frames forward, so let me just do that. So you're going to go 10 frames forward and add another keyframe and make this into a 1. So it will revert back to normal. And then, of course, but th and this time you're going to do the opposite, so you're going to make the first one a smooth fade and the second one a slow fade and that's pretty much it guys like I said it is really simple to do you can use it on all your videos if you want it's really cool it's a really cool effect that I personally really like to use so yeah that is going to be it for this video um, thank you guys so much for watching if this did help you make sure to hit that thumbs up and if you're new make sure to subscribe um and yeah thank you guys so much for watching these videos that uh that i make just trying to help people out there on their editing skills and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye